these cubes. They so shiny. Feel like they're hypnotizing me. Okay, anyway. Hi. Everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back here in a block Borg. For now, because I'm very broke at the moment with my $7,000. Some people are probably like, Oh, do you think that's broke? I have $1. So, Roblox itself has a lot, a lot of games. A lot of you guys probably play a bunch of different games. Most of you probably just play Blockberg. But for those that don't have Blockberg, they can't afford it. Uh, they don't have the 25 Robux. I did this one video where I showed you some free town city, like similar role-playing game that you can play if you don't have Block. This is the more updated version because all right, the last time I did this was like a year ago. I think it was two years ago. Let's see. Yeah, it was like 2019, October 22nd. This was before like I think Brookhaven came out, before Roville came out as well, I think. So we have a more updated list to include all those games. So yeah, I think right now Blockberg just needs a town update. Uh, maybe a couple more furniture objects. Oh my god, my oh my god. Okay, you see that? <laughs> you see that? So the first game I'm going to be listing is Brookhaven oh. RP. Most of you already know, know about this. Most of you already seen it i can see why it blew up because like the game is free you don't have to buy it really anything there's a couple game passes you can buy why do i look like this oh my god what was that what was that that was not me the good thing about brookhaven is it's rp it's role play elements and it has like basically you don't have to work for anything like this game everything is basically free besides the game passes that you can buy but those are optional like, you get so many cool vehicles there's a lot of vehicles that you can get oh <gasps> what is that anyway like i said you get free stuff you don't have to buy a house there's no currency in this game so you don't have to work for anything and that's what a lot of people don't like doing these days you can even get like a free house right here like you just click on something and there's a there's a good selection of pre-made houses that you can just purchase what is this this is a new house what is that everything's just there at your in your hand even this little bag here has a bunch of role play items that you can just bring out you get all the role play stuff in your hand what is this house it's just the little details in this game that makes it really popular and i think a lot of people really like about this game is the the free stuff they like the free stuff they also like the small details because if you wanted to pretend to vacuum your house yeah you could vacuum your house if you want to talk on your phone you can press this little button f or whatever is on the mobile device and it'll change the animation of what you're doing so you could pretend like you're on your taking a selfie you could be on your phone who are you who are you why are you in my house you have a child oh my gosh for the most part everything is free like what a free bus? Don't mind if I do. In addition, the city is also pretty decent as well. There's quite a bit to explore in this city. Like they have everything you need. They got a school, they have a daycare, they have a little park, they have an arcade, have a good selection of places to go to with your role play families. So the second game on this list is obviously Roville. Once again, another new contender. Can't afford Blockberg. I think Roville is one of the one of the closer games you can play. What I like about this game, it's also free. You don't need to pay Robux anymore. It used to be paid access. The city center. You can spawn in the city. Okay, I'm gonna spawn here. What I really love about this game is that its city is huge. Like, there is actually tons and tons to explore. Like, you have your whole city area right here. You have your housing over there. You have some housing over here. Like, there's even a park around here. Some really cool places you can, like, visit with your roleplay families as well. And another thing that I really like about this game is its marketplace. This is probably one of the many unique features about this game is that you can actually buy other people's houses and like immediately get it right away you can also upload your own houses and um, have people download your creations that way as well that is something i really want in blockberg that way i can just buy a castle this game is definitely getting more updates i'm sure they're gonna keep continue updating it lots of jobs you can work as you can be a cashier an office worker uh, a chef a taxi driver a banker there's a frozen food place police what there's a new police job that's cool so yeah number two is roville brookhaven roville are kind of like the newest ones what is that trash up there excuse me the third game here is world citizens it's one of those games that has been out for a, quite a while it's one of the og town games and i remember playing this exactly first before i got into like blockberg or anything they recently also had a pretty big map update which is more of a reason to like kind of play it now characters though they're a little weird <laughs> i don't know i think the characters are a little funny big props to the developers for keeping the game like updated as much as possible they also have the pre-built houses here as well so you don't really have to build your own homes 
Um, but you can customize it to your own liking, so that's really good about it. Place your own furniture anywhere you want, or you can just keep your blank house, who knows. Here and there, they also give you codes from the Twitter, which gives you free money or trophies and stuff, so that's also really nice. That's all from Rose Citizens, I like it. Alright, so the fourth game for is Welcome to the Neighborhood of Robloxia, or just the Neighborhood of Robloxia. But yeah, this game is also really cool, so when you play, there's tons and tons of jobs. Bottom Rock Cafe even shows you what, what it looks like when you choose it. You can work out burger way i don't know you can go to cheap and quick and it shows you how much they get paid too and the good thing about these jobs is that you don't actually have to work you can just stand around and you get paid just from like running around or just playing the game oh oh no oh no they, they have a tutorial now i'm not new to this there's a lot of small little details that really make a big difference so if you want to go grocery shopping you can actually just choose so many things like you can buy some bags of chips and you just buy it for the money oh my god no i don't need a tutorial Oh my gosh, amazing. It's just the little details, like you can just go anywhere. Like if you want a cup of soda, you can grab it. Grab this cup of soda, and then you open the lid, and you go fill it up over here at the dispenser. You can choose. Look at that. You have your drink now. You put the lid back on, then you start <laughs> drinking it. So I really love the small details with this game. Um, really good for role play. Also a really good selection of vehicles as well. What is that? Hello? What is that? I need that. Map selection is also pretty big as well. Like it's a pretty hefty map and you can stalk people because it shows where everybody's location is. So if you're if you're trying to find somebody, no fear, you can find them easily. The, the graphics aren't too like realistic or crazy or anything. So I think this game would run well on like mobile devices or anything like that. I love the dumb vehicles. I'm a big fan of dumb vehicles. Number five on this list is of course Greenville. And I've played this fairly recently. And it was it's a lot of driving. It's a lot of driving and that's the point of this game is to drive around and explore. One of its main attractions is uh, the cars. There's tons and tons of cars to choose from. Like there's just so many. Let me show you. Look, look, look at all these cars. This list, it's not even loaded yet. Look at all these cars. Four, there's like 400 plus vehicles to choose from. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. You get money for driving as well. So definitely one of the main attractions of this game is the really cool vehicles in here. They also have some houses you can also get. Some really cool restaurants and shops you can go to as well. Why do I have this? I don't know. I'm, I'm dumb. I chose this. Drive for miles and miles and miles. And you get rewarded for it. That's that's how you get the money in this game is from driving. And along the way, as you're driving, you'll run into like actual like little towns, little cities and stuff. They recently had an update on some housing stuff. Right as I posted a video before the update. So I want to see if I can check that out real quick. Very, look at that. I just got money for driving. If you're not into driving for a long time maybe this game might not be for you but yeah that is greenville for you um i can't find a house yet i don't know where houses are all right so number six on this list this is also a new one i'm not too familiar with this game quite yet but this game is called seaboard city rp but yeah this is also a fun role-playing game as well you get a free bike i think if you give the game a like or something i don't remember so there's quite a bit to explore they got a police station here i love the mini car let me <laughs> i love this mini car it's my favorite thing and it has sound effects. I like the selection of vehicles. And they also have some free um, houses that you can go into and get. Ooh, oh, look at that. Wow. Barely furnished too, like pretty well decorated as well, I think. Okay, and that concludes my list of free town slash city role play games that you guys can play if you cannot play Blockburg. If you're a big fan of free stuff and you really like are role playing with items and stuff, Brookhaven is your go-to. If you want something the closest to Blockburg, choose Roville because it's very, very similar. Very, very similar games. I love both games. But of course you guys know I just live in I live in Blockburg. This is my home. This is my city. <laughs> this is my country. And yeah, we shall be building yet again tomorrow. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do a video like this again. I like I like all the games. If I miss anything, let me know. I will probably do another updated video on this, like in the future, like in the long future. If you did find this helpful in a way, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you aren't already. It is completely free. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Have a great day. Goodbye.